Alright, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> If you see folks fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 136 pounds. Fighting out of Amsterdam, the Netherlands, Bazooka. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, and off out. but that's a miss. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Well-placed kick there by Lee. <laughs> Trying to establish that jab once again. to go. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Yeah. 
Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, huge block! Kick to the body by Lee. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Beautiful hand skills here. The right, then the left. Well, that kick landed the body beautifully placed right underneath that elbow. Let's see if he makes the adjustments now defensively to avoid opening up that midsection to further damage by that kick. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. So there it is, taller fighter landing a knee to the body. Ten seconds. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Lee. All right, let us get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. And how about just the, the sheer volume of head kicks for him? I don't know why this dude's energy bar isn't completely zapped. You can't throw that many head kicks over the course of a fight. But I guess if you're landing them, you might as well keep throwing. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. That was some serious precision striking on display in the previous round. Found his openings upstairs and closed the show. He has landed at an alarming rate. His opponent is to get his head off the center line. He's walking into him with his head straight up, not moving, trying to engage without changing the angles. That is why he is getting brutalized right now. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Big left hook coming is blocked. Oh, big punch lands. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these, You've man. You gotta check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Check it, check it, check it. Big head kick land. Oh, nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Nice punch lands over the top. Lee's kick blocked. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. They continue to exchange. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Went for the inside leg kick. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. 
I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish this fight. 15 seconds to go. Powerful leg kick land. 10 minutes in the books. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, here we go with our next round. Shades of Tony Ferguson in the previous round. It's hard to hit a moving target, and he wasn't stationary at all. It's never stationary. His head movement just flows. It's not that he's standing still, head still, and it all... Over the top, this fight's gonna be over this year. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Big roundhouse now, just misses. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Just missed with the straight left hand. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Put your hands up higher. Come on. Big powerful punch land. Now we get back to range. Oh, nice. What a body kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. Single collar tie here. Oh, here's a kick to the body. Blocked, though, by Lee. Superman punch lands! Just missing on the high kick there. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Oh, that's a nice strike. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, fight down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the Ready? roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Went for the inside leg kick. Great punch. 
punch landed with so much power. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Slips. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Real sneaky body kick. Lee going for the body, missed with that kick. Nice. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Just over two minutes to go in the round. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Head kick. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Nice defense there, huge block. Seems to have timed that counter pretty well. Way to hide that leg kick. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. And he landed the right hand there. Able to check that kick as well. All right, no telestrator for the champ tonight, but that's okay. He'll still talk you through the replays. Body kicks for days, man. I mean, body kicks for days, but I got to be honest, John. If we don't incorporate a telestrator <laughs> into this game, this may be my only version of EA UFC. Final round, you ready? You ready? Fifth and final round, fourth cover. And he lands a punch there, pretty good connection by him. Great connection, he's in a great flow right now. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Right hook to the head, block. Continuing to work the body to great effect. Right under the elbow, the body kick land. Pretty good right hand. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very accurate. Dig and kick. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Punch over the top. Ooh, what a head kick. Under three minutes, remain in round five. Lee gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Lands <laughs> and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. Hands higher. 
huge block there. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, Whoa! you got to set your body up. He's got him hit here. Ooh, what a punch. He went high on that one. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Blocks the shot. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Waning seconds of this fight. What else can you say but what a fight? The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 48-47. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here tonight. Yeah, he did a great job of just dictating and controlling all the engagements of this fight. His opponent never really had an opportunity to lead the dance. He did that from start.